Основна тип патології, через які... And you can see the names of them. Unfortunately, there are many of them. These pathologies are usually the result of abnormal activation of blood coagulation system, which leads to abnormal blood clotting and the formation of thrombus in blood vessels. The framework of a thrombus is the insoluble three-dimensional fibrin network, which is formed after fibrinogen activation by thrombin and on fibrin polymerization. And there are some several stages of fibrin polymerization. It is absolutely crucially important to monitor the state of blood clotting system and the danger of thrombosis formation by measuring the quantities of these three important molecular markers in blood plasma, which are fibrinogen, soluble fibrin, and fibrin D-dimer. And usually it's very important to monitor three of them simultaneously. It is also crucial and certainly it's banal, but you understand it very well, to regulate activation of blood coagulation system by reverse inhibition of a brain polymerization process. This is a small picture of the electron microscopy of a brain network in the thrombus. And this, is a, this network is really the basis for thrombus formation. So, for many years, the molecular mechanisms of fibrin polymerization were studied in Palladian Institute of Biochemistry. And I'll be speaking about this work and what we have the results about them. What was our aim and what was our experimental bioinformatics research? So we had to find new sites on a fibrinogen or fibrin molecule which are involved fibrin polymerization process to see the so-called fibrin polymerization sites, then to find molecules of various origin, which are either unique for a specific stage of this polymerization and which may inhibit this process. Of such later molecules which inhibit polymerization to find those which may be used in clinics for therapy as inhibitors of thrombus formation. So to, in fact, what we have done. So we have obtained different nature, native or denatured uh, forms of uh, fibrin and its uh, derivatives. They were used as antigens for monoclonal antibodies production. We have generated several hundreds of different hybridomas and the monoclonal antibodies which were secreted by these hybridomas were directed at different sites on a fibrin or fibrinogen molecule. We have studied the epitopes, so the sites which are recognized by these antibodies. We were obtaining fragments of these antibodies and recombinant so-called nanobodies which interact with these epitopes. We made use of these monoclonal antibodies, which are specific for certain stages of fibrin polymerization, to make sets of ELISA technique, those who are familiar, it's the most familiar type of methodology to, do, to, to find something on proteins or peptides. Then to synthesize and to test peptides which imitate amino acid sequences in the protein in the epitope region, and then to find new agents which may inhibit blood coagulation system. This is a scheme of a fibrinogen molecule, which is composed of two subunits, the one and the second one. Each of them has three polypeptide chains. And the polymerization process starts with splitting off fibrinopeptide A and then fibrinopeptide B. And the process of polymerization occurs. I will not go into details because certainly I will not also speak about all the type of fundamental research which was conducted, but just to show you several examples, and then I'll try to explain to those who are interested in this either diagnostics or therapy of blood coagulation system abnormalities, what we have done. At the first point, we were using antibodies. Perhaps most of you are familiar with the molecule. This is a scheme of an antibody molecule, 
so-called IgG molecule. And this is an active site of this antibody, which is binding to the site which is specific for this antibody. You can generate different type of these monoclonal antibodies, in fact, thousands and thousands of them, which were directed to different antigens. But then you can take also some fragments of these antibodies. This is an FAB fragment. Or you can construct by genetic engineering only the active site of this antibody. This is so-called single chain FE fragment or nanobody, which may be directed to absolutely various sites on a protein molecule. As an example of a D-dimer, which I showed before, is very important for diagnostics. So using this D-dimer, we have generated a monoclonal antibody, which is unique for D-dimer, because in fact, this site, so-called epitope, doesn't exist on fibrin or fibrinogen molecule. So these monoclonal antibodies, which have very high affinity to this protein, they don't react neither with fibrinogen nor with fibrin molecule. So they are unique. And this, this site is buried in a cold coil structure, which appears only on a very specific stage of fibrin polymerization process. This is just to show you that this monoclonal and other monoclonal antibodies, they were completely inhibiting fibrin polymerization process. So the first ones were unique to find a specific stage, but they didn't inhibit fibrin polymerization. These ones were inhibiting fibrin polymerization. And we found a new one, not before described, the so-called site C on a fibrin molecule. And you may see that this antibody, this is a normal electronic uh, picture by electron microscopy of the fi fibrin fibrils formation. And with antibodies, there is no any formation. So the process is completely inhibited. So again, we have taken this huge fibrinogen molecule and different derivatives of it and have generated various antibodies to various sites of this molecule, which of them, some of them were specific to different stage of fibrin polymerization process. This is some type of a summary for a one hour or two hours lecture. So these unique monoclonal antibodies, which are specific either to fibrin soluble or to D-dimer or to fibrinogen were used to construct, to design ELISA system. And this is a scheme or a picture or photograph of already existing immunodiagnostics which help to monitor the stages of thrombus formation or the dangers of, of thrombus formation. I took also uh, just as an example to show you how it looks like when it is made. This is a working machine. So antibodies can be used for diagnostics because they are revealing several, several, some specific stages of fibrin polymerization process. But how is, is it possible to fight thrombus formation, not only for diagnostics, but for possible therapy? There are several approaches which we have used. First, the first one was to, so again, the antibody molecule and its FAB fragment and its active center. So if there are some antibodies which inhibit fibrin polymerization, they inhibit thrombus formation. So now we are generating, sorry, uh, so this is a type, because the hybridomas and monoclonal antibodies, they are mouse. But to make them therapeutic, you have to humanize them. It means that they can be possible to inject them into humans. So there are different ways how to make them humanized. And this is just a scheme. But for our purpose, it's not necessary to humanize them. 
because we are making recombinant antibodies, nanobodies, which are corresponding to the active center of the antibody. What we, what we need, we need to block fibrin polymerization process. So now we have generated a vast library of more than billion specificity of human and mouse immune and non-immune recombinant single chain antibodies, nanobodies. And our first goal is, and now just to make them work to stop thrombus formation. Another approach is, while we were studying with monoclonal antibodies the sites which are involved in fibrin polymerization, so we can use peptides which are composing this site of polymerization. And we have generated different peptides to different sites. And you may see with PLUS, this peptide 1226 was positive, was inhibiting, as well as 2646, but not these ones. It's a little bit uh, more specific story why they are not specific, but because they don't really uh, corresponding to the structure, to the conformation on a protein, which is the site for this molecule. So this is just to show you that these peptides were completely inhibiting fibril formation. This is normal process of fibril formation, and this is with added peptides, so they're completely blocking fibrin polymerization. Another peptides, another set of peptides, only this one was positive, 121, 138, in the structure of the fibrin molecule. These are, all, these are just histograms showing that this peptide was really inhibiting it. And this is a bioinformatics computing uh, uh, approach to show how this epitope or the site of polymerization is composed of different peptides. But we've found, in fact, that this site is composed not only from the one polypeptide chain, but in fact, several polypeptide chains are involved. And the most inhibitory was gamma 6977. So this is a very good candidate to use in therapy for thrombus formation inhibition. And now we're coming to calixarans. This is uh, an example of our cooperation of our institute, Institute of Biochemistry, with the Institute of Organic Chemistry of our academy. So we have tried different types of calixarans, whether they have any impact, whether they have any influence on fibrin polymerization process. And of, of many of these calixarans, we have found with our colleagues, the two of them were very interesting in the sense that they really inhibit fibrin polymerization process. We have modeled and we have found the site with which they interact. So this site completely coincides with the so-called site A on a fibrin molecule. And you may see that this is gliproarg uh, uh, peptide, which usually is representing a site A on a fibrin molecule. And you may see how uh, this peptide is going into the calixarin cavity which has a volume of approximately 10, 12, or perhaps even 15 cubic angstroms. So the heterophobic part of Gliprarc Pro, which imitates the R, uh, R side uh, of uh, fibrin molecule, it's embedded into calixarin cavity, and calixarin is a very effective uh, inhibitor of the polymerization process. So these experiments, in fact, show that this calixarin as a specific inhibitor for brain polymerization can be a very interesting platform for a design of a new class of antithrombotic agents. This work was certainly patented in Ukraine, and now it's a process of patent, uh, patenting in the United States and in other countries. These are some of the references of our publications in 
uh, in uh, international journals. And let me give you a summary. So in fact, fundamental research on studying of molecular mechanisms of fibrin polymerization gave us a chance to find very specific antibodies which helped us to make special diagnostics to monitor the state of fibrin polymerization process. And these are the sets, ELISA sets. At the same time, they gave us three approaches to look for the agents which may be used for therapy of thrombosis, possible thrombosis uh, formation. It's either nanobodies, it means recombinant human antibodies which are directed to the sites of polymerization. It can be specific peptides which block this process, and it can be calyxorines. And this is photographs of some of uh, colleagues from the Institute of Biochemistry who participated in this type of a job. Thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, I have not been at the first part of, the, uh, of, uh, of this meeting. I don't know if your questions are going immediately or later. Now, do you have any questions, please? Yes. Но ничего плохого нет в том, что вы физики. Вы показали фирму Диапрофмед, Диапрофмед, да. которая занимается, в принципе, занимается системами анализа спида и так далее. Так далее. Кровь. Переводчик вас перевести не мог. Не сядьте, пожалуйста. А, понятно. Вот. Я... What I wanted to ask is how this interaction with Diapropmed. Okay, don't say it, I understand. Well, in fact, dear Prof. Matt, they are not making any type of systematic analysis of uh, virus infections you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. They make diagnostics. No, 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 no. But to make diagnostics, they are a production company. We are a research institute of the National Academy of Sciences. We do not produce neither drugs nor any type of diagnostics. We design them. But to make somebody this box, and this uh, old type yes, of yes, yes. arrangement, I we need a partner. It may be a pharmaceutical company, it may be other companies. So we are making these sets in cooperation with the approved So they produce a hardware, we produce a software. Okay. Are there any other questions? I see you are not interested in cardiovascular diseases because perhaps everybody is young. No questions? I see no questions. So thank you so much for your attention again.